Our gang is sexy. Let's uh, let's do some catching up here. I haven't been grinding out Gadarian's Blitzkrieg as much as I would have liked to. Of course, once Into the Woods got here, I had to do some playing of that. And I uh, finished up that second squad leader scenario and trying to move on to, the, or started the third one already, actually. Todd and I both started that one, so. All right. So the last time we were here, the German push was starting to pick up some momentum. And um, they've sort of hit the Russian retaining walls, let's say. They did break the line here on the road to Moscow, all right, the short road from Smolensk, but I don't know what they're going to get. I don't know how far they're going to get. Got a Russian unit here that's well, right here. He's cut off, and he's not completely attrited yet. I think he lost. Matter of fact, I think he passed his attrition. Um, We're still outside of Kondrovo and Kaluga. Uh, got swatted by them. there was a bunch of katusha rockets here that just decimated this this panzer division here and it was the same up there uh going towards moscow so the russians are still thin but they get a bunch of they got a bunch of artillery plus right now they can fly and the germans can't the only flying the germans can do is at their bases if they're active and the bases are attacked they can uh they can defend them with their fighters. So we're, we finally cleared up this thing here around Sukhinich. And so now the Germans are starting to move out. The Russians are cutting off this here now. All the minor rivers are now frozen. So it's like concrete. They, they don't affect anything. And the major rivers are now treated like minor rivers, which is way back over there is a, a major river, which the Germans are not there yet. So... That right now, if the game ended, the Germans have enough victory points to win this thing outright. Because I think they only need 40. So we pushed out of a rail. The Russians actually attacked right here. And they just, they epically failed. And right now I'm moving the Germans. And I took my marker off the board so I remember where the hell I was moving at. I got to move everything on this side yet still. So we're in, well actually we're into the 8th or ninth turn here. So we got to push there. But lo and behold, the Russians got the initiative on this turn, and here's what happened. All these reinforcements came in. I decided to drop them all over here at Voronish, and they're going to attack. So now, as I did that, I thought to myself, man, the Germans have got to, all right, they're going to have to bounce a little bit. The armored divisions that were pushing, let me back this up. These armored divisions here that were pushing this way, Toward, to go above Yelets and towards Tula, they had to turn and divert back here because those Russians are coming. Now, what I did decide to do was I looked at the size of the gap in this area here, and I said, you know what? Let's go knock out some airfields. Let's take five more victory points and capture a bunch of supply. So this division, this S the SS Reich division up here, Das Reich, and the Panzer division down here with some supply, and units here with supply, uh, movement returned to normal, no more Raspatitsa. So they took off, destroyed two airfields, or destroyed all the aircraft on one airfield. But, and they, right now they own the airfield, but the Russians will probably take that back on their next turn. And they've captured this link here. And amazingly enough, he's got a bunch of supply under him. He's got supply. He's got supply. But this headquarters, he can reach most of that. Anyhow. And the Germans have got, they've got supply, they're going to move up. They did get a big roll, not a maximum roll, but they got like 56, so supply points. But the Russian, the Germans only have one more reinforcement group coming in. I think it's just an infantry division. The Russians are going to get groups like this, I think, till the end of the game now. So I will have to say that the reversal of roles is about to start because if the Russians on the next turn get another batch like that, which I found that they, they don't have to come in there. They can actually come in on any railroad or road off the east edge. So if they get another batch like that on the next turn, I don't know whether I need to put them up towards up there towards Moscow to defend that or start driving these Germans out, forcing that attack up near Moscow to uh, come to a stop. So there you have it. There's a catch-up on Guderian's Blitzkrieg. I've uh, been trying to play it in little bits and pieces here. Casualty box, well, 
Still massive. Look at all that aircraft that the Russians have lost. And there's no replacing the aircraft in this game. They don't come in as reinforcements. There's no, there's no points to replace them. And the Germans actually lost some air now. And they're starting to gain on some of their casualties. Um, a couple of, they've lost some steps to attrition. Uh, there's quite a few infantry divisions along the board that are already took two step losses. There's even a couple that have taken three. And they don't, my dice rolls are terrible for replacements. Actually, this turn, I rolled zero replacements for both sides. Uh, all those Russian units up there, some of them have been repaired by Joe Stalin. Or they will be repaired. I'm, I'm moving all the uh, the replacement chits they have back towards the city there. So they'll get some replacements done. Or they'll get some replacements. they get some units restored a little bit. So I don't know. Let's see what happens now. Like I say, the Russians are going to be on the move now with all the reinforcements they got. And uh, we're over halfway through the game. It's still here. It's still on my table. It's So far, it's going to, right now, it's going to make it to the end as long as I keep grinding. All right, let's get the same post so y'all can catch up on GB. All right, talk to you soon.